I mean, you've interviewed Bruce Campbell before, right? Is that? Uh, multiple times, yeah. Multiple times. That's yeah, we, amazing. We worked together, I think, I want to say twice. And did he tell, was he the one that told you about the, lo- like, did he tell you a little bit about the location there in Tennessee? Well, I, you know, I talked to him about that because I'm from the South. And, yeah. uh, he explained to me that the first time that they shot, uh, at their first location, there was cow shit, like a, a foot of cow shit in that, uh, cabin. It was everywhere. They just opened the door and it's just like covered and i didn't want to bring it up to him because i thought it was you know i wanted to say anything to him but i was thinking why was a cow in the house (laughs) (laughs) i'm sure he didn't have the answers either but my first thought is like how did this cow get in the house (laughs) right (laughs) and what if it wasn't like they assumed it was cow manure but what if it was Mm -hmm. like human manure i don't know my mind goes weird places so. It, it does that, that's okay <laughs> <laughs> okay that's okay moving on <laughs> so i was so excited for this episode i was ready i had prepped for it like i said this was <laughs> this is our third time filming this so um i had a necklace that i was gonna wear today that i had ordered off amazon and it was the um the magnifying necklace that's from the movie Oh, you mean you lost it like they lost it? Yeah, I lost it like that. Exactly. <laughs> so you can get the necklace off Amazon. It's like $5. It's my favorite. I love it. Um, and Or you can get it at Smart Mart, your local Smart Mart. They have it as well. <laughs> so, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's crazy. That's cool that you have that. Because, uh, um yeah, it was supposed to be this big part of the film, and it wasn't. Yeah. Ended up they cutting it out, and yeah. they lost it, like I was saying, and just bought a new one. Couldn't find that color. Spray painted it, sent it on its way. <laughs> that is crazy. And like as a girl watching the movie, like you pay attention. Like here's a horror movie, but they're really focusing on jewelry, and which like is like why? Why did they focus so much on the necklace? But then, like, we learned that the reason that they had the necklace was because at the end, Ash was supposed to have the necklace, and it was going to, like, I guess when you magnify something, you know, it catches it on fire. So it's going to kind of catch the Necronomicon on fire or put light on the Necronomicon, and then he would know that that's how you burn. You burn the Necronomicon, and it burns the deadites. So elaborate of him. Yeah. Yeah, but they didn't go that way, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. Like, his name is Ash, right? And they burn the Necronomicon, and so the Deadites turn to Ash. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, my mind likes to make connections. You oh, can yeah. get that out if you want. <laughs> no, 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 that's funny. <laughs> no, that's really funny. I, I, The first one is, you know, I feel like they were... They were on set and trying new things. Yeah. Uh, it, it's amazing how uh, I love indie films. I mean, that that's that's what's so gold about these films is, you know, they can try different things. Um, yeah. And, you know, when you have a low budget like that, you tend to just work with what you got. And they had to. They had to do a lot of impromptu like making changes like absolutely i mean most of the time like for at the beginning when you see sam raimi and uh one of the producers walking down the road fishing that's so neat 